stream and please revoke the the claim. Okay, just wrapping up the Boston Marathon. It looks like Degefa is going to hold on on the women's side and then the men's side. There's still a pack of 10 with about, oh, about seven, eight miles to go. So anyway, it's going to be an exciting finish. Sorry that the live stream was taken down because of a copyright claim from FlowTrack or Flow Sports. I don't know why it was taken. They don't, they never tell you why. It just happens. And maybe, so I paid last night NBC Gold. Uh, I paid for the, the live streaming service. That's what I'm watching right now over there. Um, I paid for it. And then I thought, okay, I paid the money. They get their money. And therefore, I can watch it and talk to all of you about what is happening in the race. Talk about the racers. Give my analysis. Talk about the shoes that everyone's wearing. Just have a good time. But that's apparently not good enough. I don't know. So I don't know why FlowTrack, I know FlowTrack was also live streaming it as well. And you, I think you had to pay for it. So maybe, but I was, but I paid for it and maybe I showed too much of the computer screen in the shot. Like if it just would have been me talking, like I'm wondering if it's actually the title of the live stream, Boston Marathon live stream runners chat. I thought it, 2019, I thought it was a really good title and I feel like everybody was enjoying themselves. I don't know. I'm just wondering if we were doing really well getting a lot of viewers and FlowTrack did not like that at all. So who knows? It was a good time. We got to live stream for about 30, 40 minutes. It was so fun. So anyway, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, by the way, I emailed FlowTrack and Flow Sports asking them like, hey, just let me know why. Like, I, I don't know why you took it down. Um, I'm, I'm not, if, if I broke the rules, I, that's fine. But just tell me why it was taken down. I don't know, again, if it was the computer screen or if it was my talking, if it was the title, if it was whatever it was. So anyway, we'll keep fighting. Alright, parking at the rec center and we're going to go get that 16 miler in. Today's run, so the, I'm in the Nike Wild Horse 5s today. The first run was pretty special. Upper right hand corner, check it out. It was muddy, rocky. The Wild Horse 5s did, I would say, solid. But today, I'm going to take them out on a buffed out trail. So a trail that's very manicured, well taken care of, really no rocks or roots. And I, I just want to see, can the Wild Horse 5 be used for aggressive trails? and manicure trails, so simple trails, if you will. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. Let's rock and roll, come on. We're gonna get to Boston in one second. First of all though, wanna mention the Wild Horse 5. How did they do today in the 16 mile run on kind of buffed out, tra it was probably, I would say I was 80, 85% dirt and then 15% pavement or concrete. And so if you live near foothills, but you live in an urban environment and you often jog or run to where you're gonna run on the dirt, these are the money shot. I think these are gonna be a great shoe for people that 
live in the city but love to get to the trails and maybe don't and maybe ha like 30 percent of their run is on concrete and pavement to get to the dirt i think the wild horse 5 potentially is going to be a winner for you so anyway stay tuned for my full review very soon and yes a lot of people are asking about this lumi outdoors uh, spray that i'm spraying that's right into the shoes to help freshen them up after a run usually i set them out in the sun for like an hour and then i'll spray this in and then i'll put because i i keep all my shoes inside especially in the winter time because cold temperatures can really mess up the midsole of running shoes just so you know so anyway this lumi outdoor spray is available down below if you want to buy it right now from amazon i love this stuff my brother taught me about this stuff it's a uh, extra strength lemon eucalyptus essential odor eliminator it's amazing and then one other piece of running gear real quick that i've got to mention because a lot of people are asking are these zensa z-e-n-s-a-h recovery sleeves that are on my calves right now as i'm standing here talking with you i put them on in the gym right after the run today and i've had them on ever since so as the intensity and the volume of marathon training goes up for me i know i gotta take care of myself so i think i think recovery calf sleeves really help with yeah just uh, uh, basically recruiting more blood to come to the legs to help with recovery. So I'm uh, putting it in very basic scientific terms for you. And yes, these Zensa sleeves are available down below as well. Just putting it out there for you because a lot of people are asking about them. And moving on to the results from Boston. Oh my goodness. First of all, okay, I forgot to mention real quick. I love Flow Track. I love so Mark Floriani. Flow is uh, that's where the name comes from. He uh, and I are actually similar age. He graduated from the University of Texas. He started Flow Track back in the day, like out of his van, literally driving around the country, filming track and cross country teams. Right when YouTube was pretty young, and basically I was in either the first or the second video ever published at uh, on flow track that's right so i love flow track i got nothing against them i'm a little uh confused as to why the live stream was taken down was it just like if i would have just pulled the screen six inches toward me in the live stream so that you wouldn't have been able to see any of the screen is that all they were worried about or my bigger theory is that basically somebody comment commentating commentary commentating live and I think I was doing a pretty good job trying to update all of you. I did my research ahead of time, just so you know, like maybe I'm not allowed to do that. Like, I don't know. So I wrote them an email. I asked like, hey, what's going on here? Why was it taken down? Was it just that screen needing to come like six inches toward me so you couldn't have seen any of it? I don't know. So anyway, it was fun while it lasted. Thanks for coming. And uh, we'll see if we can do it again. I'm hoping so, because I think I've got some good uh, live commentary energy, if you know what I mean. Okay, on. moving on. Uh, and flow track, nothing against you. I love you, flow track. I love you. All right, here we go. Lawrence Chirono with the win by one second over two-time Boston Marathon champion Lalisa De Sisa. And yes, that one second win was worth $75,000. That's right, the winner of the Boston Marathon gets $150,000. Second place gets $75,000. So that one second gap between first and second on the men's side at the Boston Marathon 2019 $75,000 and you know what I love about it we are blessed here in America like there's a lot there's money here there's a lot of money in the United States there's a lot of money everywhere but the US you know we have quite a few resources so I love that now uh, Lawrence Chirono I hope I'm saying that right can take that money go back to Kenya and do what he wants with it like hopefully you know take care of his family invest in something like just like I just love that like that money is now redeployed and he can now take care of people and maybe start a business or whatever I, I don't know I get excited about that on the economic side of world marathon major championships so okay and moving on to the ladies Worknesh de Geffa holy smokes I looked it up she made her move at the five mile mark. I thought it was 10. I, I That's right when the live stream was kind of getting going and I thought it was 10, but it was actually the five mile mark. She threw the hammer down, put a gap on the field like that and she never let up. She held on, although Kiplagat from Kenya, she was coming for her. And yes, Worknish Degefa is from Ethiopia. Her PR is 217. She's 29 years old and that is her first Boston attempt and she's never raced any of the Abbott World 
marathon major races. So Tokyo, Boston, uh, I gotta look here. Tokyo, Boston, London, Berlin, Chicago, and New York City. So that's pretty amazing. Congrats to Geffa on the ladies side. Oh gosh, I, what was her, I don't even, I don't even remember her finishing time. Hold on, let me look that up. All right, there we go. I, I wanted to make sure I didn't mess that up. Degefa won with a 223.30. Congrats. Oh, man, another winner from Ethiopia. Amazing. And uh, all right, first Americans, Jordan Hase. That's right. She, had th she took third place in 2017. And remember I said in today's vlog, so I filmed it yesterday, I said, I think Jordan Hase has some unfinished business in Boston. So she had a great race. She finished third again, and I'm sure she was hungry for more, but third place twice at Boston is, and she's young. My brother's 20, she's gotta be about 27, is my guess, 26, 27, 28-ish. I don't know exactly, but um, she's, so she still has many years of marathon racing ahead of her. And then on the men's side, Scott Fobble, man. He like he is a strong big dude and he has a he set a 3 minute PR today in Boston a 209 oh I don't remember the exact time but 209 so that's awesome Scott good work and yes he's from Colorado so that's pretty neat too but he trains I believe in Flagstaff now um all right so there you go Jordan on the women's side Scott on the men's side and that keyword it's numbers, 26.2, 26.2 for the keyword. Oh, what a great day. I am, uh, I'm excited. I want to run Boston. I don't know when. I think the hills, Boston has some nice hills throughout the course. It's not a flat, fast course like Chicago. So I think the Boston hills could actually play to like a, some of my strengths. So I'm excited for Boston. Who knows? Maybe 2020. I just got to just gotta get, get, get a good time in Cleveland, right? Just got to get in that question of the day. Did you watch the Boston Marathon live? Let us know down in the comments. And I'm really curious, how did you watch it? Was it through NBC? Was it live on television out in New England? Was it on Twitter? Like, were you refreshing Twitter? Let us know down in the comments. That'd be amazing. And yes, I did. I feel like I helped contribute to the broadcast, uh, not through the commentary here in the studio, but I did purchase an annual pass through NBC so that I can watch these live events with all of you, hopefully in the future. We're going to figure that out, see what happened. And uh, But it was a fun time no matter what, even if we only got to go for 30, 40 minutes. All right. Seek beauty. Work hard. Love each other. Big run tomorrow. Big, big run tomorrow. Important one. So come back for that. And uh, I don't know what shoes I'm going to wear yet. I will keep you posted. See you tomorrow. Oh, what a great day. Thanks for being here, YouTube family.